Greetings and uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm uh, unboxing uh, Flashpoint Golan, the fifth Arab Israel war. This is a game by uh, Mark Herman and Victor Games. The game came out in uh, 1991. So, yeah, this is uh, the front uh, cover, as you can see. See here, 1991, Victory Games, Baltimore, blah blah, blah blah blah. <laughs> okay. Uh, box uh, is real neat. We have complexity is uh, high, uh, practically full high there. Uh, solid tear suitability is uh, medium. We have 780 half inch counters. We have two 22 by 32 inch map sheets. We have one rule book, two charts and tables, one 10 sided die, a counter tray, a scenario booklet, and a lock sheet pad. Time scale is one day per game turn. Map scale is four kilometers, 2.4 miles. Per hex, unit scale is regiment, brigades, and battalion. Players are two. Playing time is one to three hours for battle scenarios, four to eight hours for campaign scenario. The game system Flashpoint Golan or accurately depicts the intense rapid pace of modern airline warfare with highly interactive sequence of play within each enemy move or action can be detected and immediately reached to with artillery attack helicopters airstrikes tactical ballistic missiles or electronic jamming long range firepower reaching deep into enemies rare is the key to victory pinning and disorganizing his forces before they come into the uh, into the direct contact with friendly troops Headquarters play a crucial role by providing vital combat support and logistic assets to the front line combat units. The importance of re retaining the initiative is represented by the, the concept of momentum, which simulates how an aggressively pressed offensive increasingly disrupts the enemy's plans and therefore accelerates the relative tempo of friendly operations. Game features we have electronic jamming, battlefield salvage, cruise missiles, heliborne resupply, artillery ammo depletion and replenishment, radio direction finding, short range ballistic missiles, over 10 different types of aircraft, United Nations intervention, comprehensive engineering rules, helicopter transport, scenario generation system, Tank transport, special munitions, amphibious operations, U.S. and Soviet involvement. All right. So as you can see, we have uh, quite a lot of stuff going on in this uh, game system by Mr. Mark Herman. So let's rip the shit here. Let's see what we got in the box. Okay. So this uh, is backwards. Anyhow, we have a Flashpoint going rules of play. This is the blue book. So, this goes into uh, 28 pages. Uh, uh, actually, 27, with a 28 page being the battle summary. Okay. 
So that's not that much of a <clears throat> sorry rules compared to others. Uh, we have an introduction, game components, the maps, the dice. One decimal die is provided and flat from golden rolls of zero or red as zero, not ten, as in some other war games. Time scale. Uh, we talked about that before. Here are the counters. Um, unit designation, unit size, combat strength, formation, range, command radius, capability, point allowance. We have armored, mechanized, armored recon, motorized recon, infantry, leg, infantry, I'm sorry, airborne, special forces, leg, marine, guerrilla, leg. Mechanized infantry, motorized infantry, artillery, motorized artillery, mechanized, multiple rocket launchers, attack helicopters, headquarters, motorized airborne. Text uh, is all uh, right, easy to read, as you can see here. Unit sizes, we have company, battalion, brigade, division, corps, army, so forth. Then we have here the uh, air units, strike modifier, strike rating, aircraft type. Then we have some uh, game markers here. Activation chip, by the way this is an activation uh, chip uh, system. Ammo depleted, engineer, broken, bonus activation, dismounts, out of supply, reorganized, hasty, deliberate, fortification, hasty, minefield barrier, head, HQ disrupt, alrighty. Quite some neat stuff, and then we have the sequence of play here. We have strategic cycle, initiative and political events phase, air superiority phase, jamming phase, reinforcement phase, replenishment and reorganization phase. From what I've uh, seen on a video play of Candel, uh, you don't, uh, you mainly. Um, weaken the enemy here uh, you don't totally uh, eliminate the uh, the unit from what I've uh, seen might be mistaken so bear with me activation segments movement phase exploration phase and so forth and we have outline of play, strategic cycle, air superiority phase, jamming phase. What we just uh, spoke about here, then the operations cycle. Well, I like how, I like how it's uh, laid out. Although uh, some say that uh, it's a bit uh, mixed up. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I won't know yet, that's for sure. Okay, activation segment procedure. Momentum. Alright, this game has momentum. Momentum is an abstraction that represents the advantage which occurs to a side as the result of the steady series of victories in battle. In current military lingo, this is known as turning within the enemy, enemy's decision cycle. If the attacker is winning, then his continuing offensive will tend to increase, increasingly disrupt and the defender's efforts to resist. I'm sorry, uh, will tend to increasingly disrupt the defender's efforts to resist. His thrust will be rendering enemy plans obsolete by overrunning new of defensive lines before they can be occupied, disruption, disrupting communications and attacking enemy reserves. 
uh, uh, I apologize because it's hard to read and uh, uh, over the camera the way I'm doing it. So I know I sound like a bit robotic here. Uh, so so uh, forgive me for that. Uh, recording momentum. Gaining momentum points. All right. What else? True quality and morale. Okay, this uh, this also has a uh, is also in included in the system. Okay, effects of morale. Only morale or disorganized units can initiate battles. I'm sorry. Only normal or disorganized units can initiate battles. For example, okay. So if you're low on morale, you cannot initiate a battle, or Alright. Recording moral levels, moral checks, headquarters and command. This game has emphasis on uh, HQs, which I like. Uh, headquarters combat, headquarters and morale. Headquarters capability, reactions on HQ capability use, headquarters support capabilities, using HQ capabilities. So yeah, HQs play a big part in this game. We have a supply, supply determination, effects of being out of supply, aerial resupply, which is also neat. We have movement, exploitation movement phase, movement procedure, restrictions, highway and road movement rates, sorry. We have strategic travel rate, we have amphibious um, transport and assault, stacking. Zones of control, withdrawal, battles, terrain and battles, set piece battles, reserves, meeting engagement battles, fire support and meeting engagement battles, battle resolution procedure, flank and rear attacks. Alrighty. Retreat, pass to retreat, breakthroughs, effects of uh, breakthrough markers, pursuit, detection and reaction, detection, reaction of detection. Strikes, artillery plays a big part here as well. Artillery combat support, artillery ammo depletion and replenishment, which is uh, also a cool thing. So you do run out of ammo here. Artillery ammo replenishment, special munitions. Then we have air operations. ICM, RAP, Rocket ass Assisted Projectiles, Naval Gunfire Support, Airstrike Availability Determination, Airstrike Procedures, Airstrike versus Bridges, because we do have bridges here, Aerial Resupply, uh, quite, quite, quite uh, intense here. Real nice. Cruise and short range ballistic missiles. Huh? Helicopters. Attack helicopters. Transport helicopters. Attack helicopter combat support. 
Air defenses and ATBM fire. We have combat engineers constructing field fortifications, replacing minefields, breaching minefields, bridge construction, demolishing bridges, demolishing, sorry, bridges, <laughs> electronic warfare, jamming, HQ detection, and that's it. And here's a battle summary. So, that's your rule book which I find quite interesting. That's why I bought the game. First counter sheet. All right. Small counters, half inch. But they're not off centered from what I see. So that's also neat. Okay. And then uh, this would be the back. Alrighty. So that's the back. I'll set this here. Then we have scenario book. Okay. A uh, neat thing also is that uh, you have uh, you have uh, you can create your own. Uh, there's a scenario generator. Sorry. So we have scenario generator intervention here on the top. Pre-war game turns mobilization and reinforcement mobilization mobilization and reinforcement schedule. Victory conditions, special operation forces, scenarios. So, scenario wise, we have uh, battle scenarios. We have one, two, three, four, five battle scenarios. And then we have two campaigns. Alrighty. So, that's neat. Okay. Get too much into this, uh, but yeah, it's cool to have a battle. Uh, I'm sorry, a scenario generator. This would be the campaign scenario duel for the Golan, for example, or fire in the east. So yeah. Scenarios. Okay, international poster matrix, U.S. poster table. There is some political aspect to this game. Scenario table. Uh, this would be. A an example play, I guess, or something else, which would be very nice. All right, yeah, I guess this is a aerial resupply and helicopter transport example. And yeah, so you do have some, sorry, some examples here in the back. If I could. Battle resolution procedure movement, which would be this example here, I guess. Yeah, this is a, a lengthy example here, which is great, really. Well, that's a comprehensive example of play. So that's what we're looking for. So yeah, this would be your scenario book. Uh, more counters. These are, these are markers, uh, administrative markers. And on the back 
outside. So that's neat. So we have so far two sheets of counters. We'll keep on going. Uh, air strikes result table. Okay, this will be all tables, I guess. Battle resolution table. This would be the Arab play raid card. My guess is that uh, you have one for each. Then we have uh, log sheets. A booklet of log sheets here. Okay. Yeah, plenty of them. There is some uh, bookkeeping you need to do. All right, so that would be that, and then the back, or is it all the same? Yeah, they're front to back are the same. Yeah, front to back are the same. Same thing, which is cool, you know, that you have a. Uh, you can use the back part as well. Put this aside. We've got battle resolution table, and this is for the Israel player. So we have one for the Arab player, and we have one for the Israel player, which is also neat. And now, oh, more counters here. Let's. Leave the map here for a moment. More counters here. Miscellaneous nationalities, all right. So yeah. And this would be the back side. Okay, so that's third uh, counter sheet so far. Uh, second map and then the tray which is always handy to have all right we have a 10 sided dice like the ones you get in Avalon Hill so 10 sided dice you will get those days uh, probably need to uh, fill out the number here in black if you wanted to see this anyhow that's that Okay, let's see what the uh, map uh, looks real nice from what I'm seeing here. I really like the color. Let's see if I could uh, unfold this a little bit here. Ooh, nice looking map, bro. Really. I really like that. Tel Aviv up here, Ben Gurion Airport, alright, so 
This would be the south map. And then we have uh, the north map, which has a uh, detention table, terrain effects chart, which is always good, momentum point track. Here, it's always good to have these on the map. More tables, airstrike, aircraft, tap tables. And this would be the north uh, part where you can see Lebanon up there and Beirut way up there. We can see it. There's the Golden Heights. And Syria so right here. And a terrain key. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, Flashpoint going for you. Uh, I think uh, this is going to be an interesting game for what I've seen. Hold on. And what else do we have? We have these log sheets here. We have the two the two play rates, one for the Israel, one for the Arab. Then we have a scenario book. I'll just put the so yeah, three counter sheets. Okay, one, two, and three. And then we have the rules of play and the scenario booklet. So there you go. Uh, nice picture there. Um, not much modern. Warfare war games out there, aside from uh, the old games, but the new ones, like, aside from uh, Next War, uh, at least at that, they're good. So, yeah, I just had to pick this up. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and you got an idea of uh, what you get in the box of uh, this uh, Flashpoint Go on. The Fifth Arab-Israel War, a game by Mr. Mark Herman. And, uh, yeah, till uh, next video. Uh, keep on working and uh, catch you the next one. Bye-bye.